We're with Tom Jones, who has just thrown his hat into the ring uh, for a House a district seat. And Tom, what made you do it? Well, you know, I've always kind of dabbled a little bit in the politics, playing here at the fairgrounds, and, and I wanted to, to get in and represent the people. So I filed to run for District 58 to represent the people in that district, not a national agenda, just to represent those people. I want to see what their needs are. I want to see if I can help them with anything. I know that a lot of people have got property tax issues on their mind and, and private property rights. And, and I, I have an extensive ag background. That's where I grew up and ha also have a, a well-known business background and established background for budgeting business. And, and I think I can represent the people, help them and, and see what their concerns are and see what I can do for them. That's what there, I want to do. There's a fair amount of agendas going on down there, all in the name of conservatism. What's, uh, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm a conservative. I'm a Republican and served all my life. Um, I'm very good at budgeting, very good at balanced budgets, but also you have to take into the needs of the people too. So you have to consider their needs when you're budgeting with all the other needs, you know, and um, where, while taxes are a, a big problem, without the taxes, you have no services. So you have to balance walking an equal line on those to make sure that people have the things they need. If they call an ambulance, they need the ambulance to be there. If they call the fire department because their house is burning, they want the fire department to be there. So if they want those things, you know, we have, do have to have some taxes to make that happen. And, and uh, I'm trying to equalize that. I want to look at all ends and see how it can meet in the middle. How, how do we get to this, this problem of the property taxes? And there are a fair amount of gripes. It's the one thing you hear at uh, political forums. Well, I know that this state, you know, that they had been a, a little bit lax in their property taxes, but... The big thing that helps us is the mineral taxes. The mineral taxes help alleviate some of our property tax issues, but in the last few years, our property taxes have gone sky high. So you wanna look at some ways that we can help relieve it. I know that they got a bill passed um, through there that the seniors 65 and over that have been living in Wyoming and paying property taxes for 30 years, in 2025, they can apply for a 50% discount on that. So those are the things I wanna work on and help escalate. Do you really believe there could be some some tax reform? I do in the next session. I really do. With with again with all the minerals and stuff in this state, and they have taken care of this state for a long time. And I'm not saying tax more of the minerals. I'm just saying that there's a place to equalize things to where it helps everybody. All right. So this uh, uh, your competition has been in for a term. Yes. It's uh, it's a bit severe when somebody else from his own party is taking him on. Uh, so you must have felt pretty strongly about this. I do feel very strongly about it. I want to represent the people in this district. So I want to get out and talk to them. I want to have town meetings and visit with them, see what their concerns are, see where if, if there's areas I can help them with or try and help them with. Uh, the buzz online has been, uh, been pretty good for you. What, uh, why do you think? Well, uh, I'm, I'm a pretty well known commodity. I mean, I've been here a long time and, and, uh, I've been with the fairgrounds even for a long time, but I've lived in Wyoming for 60 some years and uh, was born in Casper, Wyoming. So I, I think I've got some knowledge of, of what goes on in this county and what needs to happen or what I think needs to happen. So I want to talk to people and see if they think that's what needs to happen. A lot of hand wringing going on in the city. And of course, you know, they think that if, uh, if things get too bad, that they're, they're they're gonna try and hit up the state for some money. I, there's one pot of money, I, I guess. And uh, how, how does that work? And where are you on like a fifth or sixth cent well, tax? Again, that's we need to look at the budget and see where we can equalize things, see what's necessary to keep things. You don't wanna reduce any of your, your services to those people right now, but um, do we need to escalate them? I don't know. We need to look at that and see if we can balance it all without hurting people's pocketbooks. Well, you got you got infrastructure going on. You got a a, a number of uh, police and fire that need to be filled here. And yet, when they say where would you cut, I, I hear them saying parks, and I'm thinking there's a lot of amenities here. But this is why people live here is the quality of life. Again, the quality of life. And, and if you're talking about catastrophes, look at that Teton Pass washout. That's going to cost several million, maybe even in the and business. That certainly was repair. unplanned. So there are Again. unplanned things that happen here. And the state does have a, a rainy day budget for things like that. I just don't know how big it was. I haven't studied any of that. But again, you have to take care of the people and the situation. So I'd like to look at all ends of it and see what I can do. Uh, Tom, good luck with all this. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.